lesson, we stop on dividing the spectrum into two parts. Continuous spectrum and line spectrum. Okay, now we will see what we mean by line spectrum in details. That means we will take more explanation about the line spectrum. And this was the continuous spectrum. This is the part we stopped on it last time. And we saw that continuous spectrum having all radiations together. Okay, now let's go to the part of line spectrum. And as we explained before, line spectrum means a spectrum that contains limited wavelengths. That means we cannot find all the kind of what of radiations on it. So line spectrum itself also divided into two. Line emission spectrum, that means this is emitted by the chemical elements when, when they get what? Excited. Emitted, it means colored lines on a dark background. And we will see this very clear when we show the, the picture of what? Of this kind of spectrum. That means line spectrum. We call it line emission. This is the first part. Why we call it line uh, emission? Because colored lines on a dark background. That means I will find lines like colors, but they are in completely black background, dark. The second part of the line spectrum is called line absorption. Line absorption. What I mean by line absorption, that means this is when we give to the element, to the chemical element, continuous spectrum, but it cannot take it all, it cannot absorb it all. So it will absorb just part of it. This part will appear as dark lines on the colored background. What I mean by colored background here, I mean continuous spectrum. We give it all to the element, but the element has no ability to absorb all these radiations. So what will be absorbed? Just some parts of the radiation. These parts will appear like dark lines on colored background. So let's compare now between the two types of the line spectrum. First type, we call it line emission. Second type, we call it line absorption. Line emission, it means colored lines. Line absorption, it means dark lines. Emission spectrum means colored lines on a dark background. Line spectrum or line absorption spectrum, it means dark lines on the colored background. So what's the difference exactly? Here I have colored lines, when here we have dark lines. Here I have dark background, when here I have colored background. So the main idea, it depends on what? It depends on when we have emission, that means colors will be given out or emitted. And the background completely dark. When we have absorption, that means dark lines will be given and actually these dark lines not given. Some colored lines already absorb it. So they left what? Dark lines. When the background is still colored. I think the idea is completely clear now. Okay. This is example for the continuous spectrum and we can see it is very clear all the colors are there nothing is missing when in the absorption spectrum i have dark lines they are so clear in the picture dark lines when the background is still what colored so that's why we call it absorption spectrum that means some parts of the colors are absorbed by the chemical elements. When the emission spectrum means given 
colors or emitted colors when the background is still completely dark. So you can compare between them and you can see that the same line here get absorbed, it will be given back here. And the same line absorb it here, it will be given back as a color here. So you can compare between all of them. When there is dark line, there is also colored line. But here in the continuous, we don't have any one of these. We have completely continuous spectrum. Contains all the colors or all the radiations together. Okay, now, why? Why we need to study all the radiations or all the uh, spectrums like this? We have a purpose about this. The purpose given by Kirchhoff's law, which is German scientist, in 1859, he showed that, what he said exactly, he said, when the chemical elements excited by heating, that means this is one of the excitation processes we explained before and mentioned before, so when we put any chemical elements under heat, what will happen exactly? they will emit the same colors it means same wavelengths or means also same frequencies that absorbed it before so we can see here according to this law of Kirchhoff for example if the chemical element absorb color from here this color will be dark line when it gets emitted again it will be emitted as colored line Okay, so in the same position, why in the same position? To be same in wavelengths and same in frequencies. Even here also, line by line, line by line. One is missing, one is appeared again. One is absorbed, one will be what? Emitted again. Okay, so this is the law of what? Of Kirchhoff's law, which is already announced in 1859. And actually this law is completely used after this in a very good way. This feature or this law was used in the 19th century to analyze metals and identify them by using something called what? A spectrometer or spectroscope. So what do we mean by this? That means if you have any kind of metal, you found it in nature, but you don't know what is it exactly. You can take this amount of metal and put it in this device, which is the spectrometer or spectroscope, and then analyze it. What we mean by analyze it? It means make it excited first, give it amount of radiation, and then from the spectrometer see which parts will be missing. The parts will be missing, we call them what? Absorption spectrum. Or also, make the element excited and then put it in the spectrum and let the element emit some radiation. This radiation also can be analyzed by the spectrometer and in this case we will put amount of colors for each element or each what metal. For example, the emission spectrum will be given by iron, it's completely different by or from the emission spectrum given by uh, cover for example. So each metal has a different what emission spectrum and each element also has a completely different absorption spectrum and both of them can be found by the spectrometer or the spectroscope. So that means this feature is really good feature making the people in the 19th century because that time they don't know everything about all metals. So they found the metals or the elements in the nature, they took it to the lab and they put it under the spectrometer and then they start analyze it till they identify all of them and put them in what? In list. This list later on it becomes like the periodic table uh, as we know it right now. Contains all the chemical elements and all these chemical elements have or had been analyzed by the spectrometer or spectroscope.
until here we finish our lesson and in the next lesson inshallah we will see what we mean by spectrometer and we will explain it in details as a device and we will see who start using this uh, uh, device and uh, for introduction from now we will start by Balmer series Balmer series the scientist who explain or who study the hydrogen atom and found the emission absorb emission uh, radiation from the hydrogen atom so Balmer it will be Balmer uh, series will be our next lesson inshallah